What's up YouTube and welcome back to some more Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. This is the Eyes and Ears achievement slash trophy which requires you to find all 30 enemy intel items in the entire campaign. So this is a full collectible guide. Let's get to it. I should also mention that I have added timestamps down in the description so feel free to go and use those if you are looking for a specific collectible. Our first one is located here on Crew Expendable. It's right near the beginning of the mission. You're going to be making your way downstairs for the first time into the ship. You will find three enemies, one drunk and two sleeping. It will be located in the room with the two sleeping enemies. After making your way through this red hallway here, this hallway with the red flashing light, you'll come down to the shipping containers, and just right there in front of you will be your second collectible here on Crew Expendable. At the start of Blackout, we will find our first collectible of the mission. It's going to be just at this guard post, so go ahead and take out the guards, head on inside the building, and you will find your collectible. Our second and final collectible in Blackout will be located inside of the house that you have to use night vision in to go and find the informant. It's going to be located on the second floor in the bathroom, so just go ahead and follow my path. Don't do a spin in the kitchen and get lost like myself, and you should be able to pick it up easily. Now we move on to Charlie Don't Surf, and we are going to be making our way into the first building of the mission. After breaching through the door, just make your way past all of your uh, buddies there. Head downstairs here, you'll come to this like cafeteria area. If you head to the left and into this side room, you will find your collectible on this table. After exiting the first building you will find that this barrier has been moved and you can now access the rest of the map. Just go ahead and follow the path that I do to make it to a building with like the roof blown off and so on. There will be some enemies up here. Go ahead and take them out and pick up your second collectible in Charlie Don't Surf. From that location we're going to make our way further into the mission of Charlie Don't Surf to find our third and final collectible of this mission. So just follow along where I go and you should be able to get this perfectly fine. Near the beginning of the mission bog, you are going to be in this building and you're going to be using your night vision to make it through. You're going to want to clear out this entire building and head up to the second floor where after clearing the entire building, your teammates will knock open this door and if you head inside, you will find your collectible right there on table. Our second collectible in Bog will be located in this marketplace after taking out the tanks on the overpass with the Javelin. There will be two paths, you can go to the right or to the left. You're going to want to stick to the left side, come around some boxes, and you will find your collectible. Our next two collectibles are located in the Hunted. The first one is going to be inside of this blue building with the blown out roof. Head on inside and you should find it on top of a game of cards. The second collectible in this mission will be located past these greenhouses, so after you make it through the second greenhouse, stick to the left and head on inside of this broken down building right here. 
and then just head through and you will find it on a table just in front of all of these enemies, so go ahead and pick it up. Our next mission will be War Pig, and there will be three collectibles in this one. So you're going to be following this tank and basically leading it through this area. Just go ahead and continue forward. Eventually the tank will blow out the corner of this building directly in front of me currently, so I'm waiting for that to happen as it does. Head on inside, take out whatever enemies you have to, and don't die. I'm playing this on Recruit, so I can take a lot of hits. Head on upstairs and you will find your first collectible just up here on the left. From that location, you're going to want to head across the street to the shops, so just follow the path here, go down and head across the street, and then once you get across the street, you're going to have to fight your way through some enemies upstairs in this shop area, as I'm going to show on screen, and it will be located just off in one of the side rooms upstairs. And our final collectible in War Pig is going to be located just down this like alleyway parking lot area. You're going to have to wait for one of your teammates to open up this door, then head on through and upstairs in one of the side rooms to the left, you will find your third and final collectible of this mission. Early on in Shock and Awe, you're going to meet up with the advanced team, or whatever they're called. Once you meet up with them, you're going to find your first collectible just over in this corner. If you've been following along, you will unlock an achievement or trophy for finding half of the collectibles. This is called Look Sharp. And then from here, head on across and just make it into this building directly in front of me. And upstairs in the closet will be your second and final collectible of this mission. Next up is the mission safe house and our first of two collectibles will be located in the first building that you make your way up to, the one with the satellite dish right here. It's going to be located upstairs in a bedroom with some enemies inside. After advancing up the hill past the burning house, you're going to make it up to this house with a bunch of enemies in it. Just go up there, clear them out, and on the first floor on a table you will find your second of two collectibles here in the mission safe house. Our next mission, All Gillied Up, has three collectibles in it. The first will be located inside of this church. You're going to have to head up the ladder and into like the watchtower area of the church, and you will find your first collectible. After making it past the little area where the enemies are dumping bodies, you'll make it to these shipping containers. Go ahead and take out this enemy, and then instead of making it around the four enemies in the center of this area, you're going to have to go and try and take them out stealthily, like I do successfully. So go ahead and come through to the center of this area. You will see the collectible right there on the barrels. You're going to have to take out all four of these enemies in order to get to it, so just go ahead and open fire on all of them and you should be able to take them out without issue and pick up the second collectible. Our final collectible of the mission can be located all the way at the top of that fire escape. So go ahead and head over to the fire escape after taking out the sniper and instead of jumping through the first floor window like you're supposed to to progress, continue forward on the fire escape all the way up top and through the window at the top and you will find your collectible. Thank you. 
Next up is One Shot One Kill. This one has two collectibles in it, and our first one is located just after leaving the first apartment building while carrying Captain McMillan. You will find this fire escape that you can climb all the way up to to pick up your first collectible. The second collectible is located all the way at the end of the mission. Once your helicopter arrives to take you and Captain McMillan out, instead of getting on, you have to do this kind of quickly because the mission will fail if you wait around too long. Head all the way over to the left side like I'm doing and just cause as much pandemonium over here as possible. What this will cause is for enemies to start spawning on the right side. What we need to happen is there are two yellow doors that are locked. These are where enemies spawn from. They will open once the enemies start spawning over here, and inside you will find your collectible. Our next mission, Sins of the Father, will have two collectibles in it, and the first one will be located at this gas station when you're taking it over at night. Just head on inside and pick up this collectible off the table. Our final collectible of this mission will be located just over in this building to our left. Go ahead and take out these enemies. At this point you will be chasing the son of Zakayev through this entire area. Go ahead and head upstairs, take out the enemies, and pick up the collectible. Our next mission, Ultimatum, has one collectible in it and it will be located just over in this building after you make it through a garage after taking out the radio tower. So just head over here, take out as many of these enemies as you can, and then head on inside of the building where all the enemies are coming from, and in a little back room off to the side you will find your collectible. Our next mission is all in and after taking out the first tank you will be able to go and get your first collectible of the mission. Just head over to the right here, this is all forward progression. You're going to have to fight your way through these enemies that will be coming from this alleyway over here on the right side. If you head down that alleyway and all the way down to the end you will find your first collectible. The second and final collectible in this mission will be located after taking out the second tank right over here on the right. There will be some hangars. You will want to go into the first hangar that you can actually enter into and you will find the collectible right here on the ground. And our final two collectibles will be located in No Fighting in the War Room. This is pretty much the final mission of the game. And you're going to be making your way as soon as the timer starts down this hallway here that curves. And off in a room to the left right over here you will find this dead body just chilling on this table. And the collectible right over here. And our final collectible of the game will be located just through this wall after busting through it with some C4. There will be a bunch of enemies in this room. Just fight your way across to the opposite side where the rest of your team is located. And in a little meeting room will be our final collectible that is 30 out of 30. And if you followed along, you should earn your achievement or trophy for eyes and ears for collecting all 30 pieces of intel. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you. If it did, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share, favorite, all that fun junk. Check down in the description, small, some links, small, some things on my Twitter, Facebook, donation page, Twitch channel, a bunch of other things you might be interested in. Thank you for joining me. Keep it here for more achievement slash trophy slash collectibles guides, more Call of Duty, not Modern Warfare Remastered, but Infinite Warfare when it comes out, and a bunch of other things. Until tomorrow, ta-ra.